we rarely see each other because she had strict parents, and I found out. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. So I'm 21 and I met my GF when I was 18, 3 years ago. When I met her, her parents had a pretty strong hold on her so we rarely went out and most of the time we planned something they would not allow it at the last second possible. Basically I woke up with a message saying she couldn't go out with me. She was a year and a half younger than me so I ended up swallowing the feelings this caused me. I sent her flowers on Valentine's Day when we couldn't be together and she promised me when she turned 18 she would have total freedom. It only got worse. When she became 18 her parents argued a lot and this period of our relationship stressed me a lot. I always told her she could come and live with me since they kept locking her in her room and also left the house a couple of times to try and be with her to calm her down. It ended when she said she ran away. And I went to get her in the middle of the night. But ended up never seeing her because she said she called the cops and they were talking with her parents and I didn't doubt her and went home. The problem of rarely seeing her kept getting worse. All I wanted to do was see her at least twice a week and it only seemed like she kept getting more distant. I compensated for this with many things. I bought her a lot of games for us to play together without asking her to pay me back. When her parents argued with her that she didn't know how to cook I taught her a couple of dishes I know. When she was feeling sad I got her a ukulele because she always talked about it and tried helping her learn. I did some other things too but basically I did all of this because I really loved her. I really did. I could have spent my whole life doing anything she would want and the only thing I asked from her was her company and love. We had problems. She would lie a lot. She would show me drawings of other people and say it was hers and I doubted it so I reversed image search and confronted her about it and told her she did not need to lie because I liked her drawings. She has a deviation on her spine and I work out so I asked around my gym and set everything up for her to join and get help with her back only for when the day came for her to go with me there she calls me and tells me that she isn't even in the country and went on vacation with her family. Plus most of the time we would choose a day to hang out. When the day came I would wake up with some excuse of hers on why she couldn't go. This happened like 8 times out of 10 and I ended up going to bed already knowing I would get one of those messages the next morning. Now I'm going to talk about myself. She was my first girlfriend. I always had this idea about the boyfriend I wanted to be. I have always wanted to be helpful and able to deposit as much love as I can give. My parents aren't exactly a perfect relationship and I grew up around a lot of arguing and screams. I had to learn to not be like that and I can admit that I was taking on my father's temper sometimes and this was aggravated by all the lies. I guess I was also kind of blind to if she actually wanted my help on some things. I felt really hopeless close to our breakup. I would try to set up a day for us to be together and I would cook with her and we could talk and all that and she kept delaying it all while saying I do nothing with my life and that she was going out with her friends and I should avoid seeing them. We reached a breaking point and I ended up having to talk to her best friend for us to be together the next day. She would not kiss or even hold my hand. After that we never went out again. She kept ignoring most of my messages and was acting really cold to me. My family always told me I deserved better and I never heard them. My mother kept motivating me and my brother did as well. He also had relationship problems. My aunt told me a few months ago that if I did not leave this relationship she would cheat on me. I did not believe my aunt but I broke up with her for real a few days ago and she told me that she had been talking with a guy for a couple of months now. And right after we broke up she changed her Instagram to her and him and everything. You know I just kind of feel hopeless I guess. I invested so much into it. I really poured everything I had and to be just thrown out like this I don't think I have even cried it all out yet. My brother told me to live my best life since I'm 21 but I don't think I'm the type to meet people to sleep with them. It was never about the sex for me. It's an important part sure but I always valued having someone there for me more. My days consist of going to the gym, walking around a lot and then home and sleeping. I don't think I can even go to the uni I planned on going to out of fear of seeing her and how that would make me feel. I tried installing Tinder and Bumble to meet people and see if I can find someone, I'm not trying to substitute her, I'm just trying to find someone who cares for me for real. I guess I just feel lost. I learned a lot during the three years I was with her. Before that all I did was sit on the couch and play games. Now I do 3D models and play guitar and cook and work out a lot. I know I developed and I am thankful for it but deep in me I just can't comprehend how after all we went through all the good moments and those moments we cooked together and slept together and hugged and kissed. How she can just discard that so quickly. When she lied I tried to break up and I couldn't. 
I would just run back to her because I just hate being alone. Having someone at least seem to care about you in a romantic way is something that gave a lot of meaning to my life. Without it I just feel like some kind of waste of skin that is apparently shitty enough to be cheated on and abandoned by her and my friends too. I hope I can find someone I can love and share my life with. Cooking with them and just feeling them there. I guess I just kind of look for the feeling of being appreciated and I tend to do a lot of stuff for people in the hopes that they give me some kind of recognition and affection. And I feel that comes from how when I was little I was always trying to get positive attention to counteract all the negative things like my parents arguing because of me. Here is the second story. I've been in love with my girlfriend for almost a year now. She's the most amazing and pretty girl I will ever meet and I cannot get over the fact that I am in a relationship with this woman. Everything was fine over the year. There was plenty of sex and gifts and love between the two of us. One day I thought I'd drive up to her house and surprise her with some chocolates and flowers as she's told me she has been having it rough lately. When I arrived at her house, she lives with her parents, I noticed a new car in the driveway. But shrugged it off as maybe a new family car or something. I walked up to the front door holding my flowers and chocolates and walked straight in cause the front door was unlocked. And no one answered when I knocked. I proceeded to hear plenty of moaning and rough movement coming from her bedroom. My heart instantly dropped and I was hoping to God it wasn't what I thought it was. But sadly it was true. I turned the corner to see a man basically balls deep in the girl I love the most. I have never felt more destroyed in my life. I dropped the chocolates and flowers in fright and they heard it and looked at me. She tried to apologize to me but words couldn't fix what I just saw. I felt no emotion, no feelings. Just. Nothing. I walked back to my car while she vigorously tried to apologize. But I only continued to hop into my car and drove off without saying a single word for the whole day. I never did anything wrong to her. I loved her so much. I showered her with gifts and took her on adventures she will never forget. She had it all with me. But sadly she crushed it in a heartbeat when I caught her with that man. What should I do, should I stay or just move on? Please help. Here are some of the best comments from our community. Yeah man it's a no-brainer. You've got to pull the plug. She's not the person you thought you knew. If you take her back the I'm sorry's will eventually turn into why do you keep bringing it up? Plus you're sending a message that you accept that treatment from people. I guarantee there is still more to the story you don't know. If you stay you'll never get that image out of your head. You go. Her actions have shown you her true colors. Staying means that you're clinging to what you want it to be, and not the reality. Good on you for not giving her the satisfaction of a big blow up. If I were you I'd stay silent. It will drive her crazy. You don't owe her any conversations and you don't owe her a chance to explain herself. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.